Hey, it's Ethan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Truxedo Deuce 2 Soft Tonneau Cover on our 2022 Ram 2500. This is just going to be how it fits on this specific vehicle. If you want to know a lot more about the cover, measurements, and more specific things, check out the full demo here at eTrailer. You might want to use a soft tonneau cover like this for a handful of reasons. First of all, obviously, when it's in this position, it's going to be able to protect things that you're storing in your bed not only from elements like rain and snow, but also from people just being able to reach in and grab them. It'll provide both an extra layer of protection and an extra layer of security. And you have the added benefit of if you're using it for longer drives, a little bit better fuel economy as you go. The cover itself is made of a vinyl coated leather grain material, which is going to stand up pretty well, not only to UV, but just weather in general. Also, while we're back here, I just wanted to show off one of the bigger features of the actual cover. By releasing this lever on either side, you can actually fold the cover back. So let me get to the other side. Now I'll release this passenger side lever as well. And you can see I can fold the whole back part of this cover down. And now I can get to some of the items that might have shifted their way up while driving or just things that I might have stored back here. With the cover fully rolled out and the tailgate shut and locked, everything in the bed is secure unless somehow somebody knows about this specific cover and they know that they can get in the back or if they show up with just like a really sharp knife or something and just want to rip into it but in that case they're probably pretty determined to get what they want anyway so we'll open this up and show you how to roll it back we'll start just by releasing this lever here which releases the cover and then we can roll it up along the hook and loop on the outside trying our best to keep it orderly. It's just gonna make our life easier whenever we want to unroll it again. Once it's rolled up, there's one of these straps on either side that you can roll around the cover and fit right into this opening here to keep the cover rolled up and secure. With the cover rolled up in this position, you can see that we've lost virtually no visibility out of the back windshield at all. Even that low middle headrest still has full visibility. So compared to some of the folding covers, this definitely gives you a lot more to look at out the back of your vehicle. The installation is supposed to start with these foam blocks. You'll fit them into the corners here on either side and you'll compress them down with the rails that we'll install next. That's what you'll do. We're not gonna do it for purposes of demonstration because once you stick them, they're not gonna be unstuck. So next we'll move on to adding the rails on the side here. Next, we'll take these rails here. And if we had those blocks in place, we would compress them as much as we can. But in our case, they're obviously not there. We found that where we need it is right about lined up with the back on the bulkhead. So holding the rail in place might be a little bit tricky if you're by yourself, but we you use these clamps, fit them up against the back of the the outside of the rails here, or the bed itself. Then you'll take this side here, fit it up against the ridged inside. I'm gonna take this bolt out actually. Fit it up against the ridged inside of the bed. And then find where that thread is. There we go. And tighten the bolt as best we can. Now we'll put the clamps on. We have a liner in our case, so we kind of have to push that back to get this back clamp on. Once we do, we'll have to slide the front of the clamp. There will be a ridged inside to the rails, so you'll know where that clamp goes. They recommend trying to get it as high up on this clamp here as you can. So we'll do that in our case. And then we just thread this bolt. Into the back side of the clamp. Once we have it hand tightened, we'll move on to the next clamp. Now you can set these clamps up in two ways. I had them completely unthreaded on the last one, but if you maneuver it just right, you don't actually have to unthread the whole thing. 
So in this case, we just get it where we need it to be, hand tighten it until it stays, and now we'll get our one inch socket wrench here and tighten it down the rest of the way. Once you do that, your passenger side underbody rail is done. Do the same thing on the driver side. Try to keep the clamps about in the same location if you can. There's no specific location, but keeping them even is gonna be better for you throughout. Next, we'll move on to the side rails. We'll start with our passenger side side rails. You'll know that it's the passenger side because the hook and loop that the cover is going to fit into will be on the outside. And see that this piece right here has ratchet built in. So if we slide this in to where it needs to be received, you'll hear it ratchet down into place, just like that. You just want to make sure that you do your best to get this strip out on the outside because that's going to help prevent any weather rain like that from getting in. Now we have our side rails in place. We'll do the clamps again. Same process as we did with the underbody rails. Just fit the backside in. Slide this up to as high as you can. And hand tighten until you get to the point where, you, where you'll need to use that socket wrench again. Now we'll move on to our last clamp here. Again, just following that same process. We put our clamps roughly where the instructions looked like they put their clamps and we just tried to match them up as best we could to one another on either side as we went. So we have one just past the last clamp on our underbody rail and this one towards the end of the rail system entirely. Again just the same process. After we have both of our side rails in place we'll put the actual cover on with these levers here, you want those facing the rear of the vehicle. So we'll just put it on right about here. We'll have to adjust it once we fold the side rails down, which we'll do now. We'll fold this side rail back by first releasing this lever and folding back. With the side rail folded back, you can see that there's this opening here for the cover. So we're going to want to try to fit that in and we'll line this up with this hole here. Once it's lined up, like you can see here, we'll slide this over to lock it in place. Once you have it fitted on your other side as well and locked up, we will move the entire cover just by rotating it over the top here and we'll fit this ratchet back into clamp here and push it back down. Once we folded the cover back, we'll pull these release levers here on either side to the left. Once we release those levers, we'll connect each side of these short tie bars. You'll pull this back, as you can see, on the same latch that we use to release the side rails, there's this nub. You just fit it on there and lock it into place. Now that we have these short tie downs in place, we can actually roll our cover out. Before we do that, I just wanted to note that it does have the ability to slide along the bulkhead a little bit, just to make sure that your hook and loop is lined up. Once it is, you can start the rollout process. Just taking it slow, especially for this first time, to make sure that the hook and loop lines up. We'll just guide it down for now and we'll go back and make sure everything's flush in just a second. Once we have the cover rolled down, we'll fit this right into this catch here on either side and close it up. Once you have it tensioned, we can seal up the rest of this hook and loop on either side. Get the tailgate closed up and that's it. Again, you might want to use a soft tonneau cover like this to protect things that you're traveling with in your bed from the elements and people who might want to just reach in and grab them. Additionally, if you're taking it for long trips, you get a little bit more fuel economy out of it. 
So just a little bit of a sense of security as well. One thing I really like about this specific tonneau cover is the ability to fold up the backside while it's fully on. That's one thing that definitely sets us apart from a lot of soft tonneau covers that you usually just put on and they're on. But right here, this was just a look in general at the Truxedo Deuce 2 soft tonneau cover and how it fits on our 2022 Ram 2500.